So I just wanted to give an update on this wild health journey that um, has been a majority of my life. Um, just this year, I realized or I found out that what I've been working with has been mold toxicity. That's what's caused the extreme fatigue, the brain fog, the feeling of being attacked by demons, all the really intense negative thought patterns, no motivation, parasites. It's because I'm one of the 25% of the population that can't process mold. Now, I think I'm, I'm for sure less severe, severely reactive than some people. And God bless those people that are very hypersensitive. But I'm sensitive enough to where I'm, I've been traveling and, and doing this house and pet sitting gig, which has brought me so much joy. And um, such a fun adventure. I mean, animals have just been my angels during many, many days of, of lying in bed and not really being able to do much. Having animal companions around has been such a blessing. And so I, this year I, um, I did find out I had mold a few months ago, but I kept doing the house sitting thinking, yeah, I yeah, I didn't know really that um, what was going to happen. So I did um, a few more, and it was back and forth. So w one house, I felt I started to feel better, but I also started low dose naltrexone at that time, and that kicked in and started really causing um, me to have a little more energy. My brain function started coming back. My motivation started coming back, and so I had this really great phase of about, you know, a, I would say a few weeks of feeling pretty good, feeling like I was like getting better and I was really going to um, keep getting better. So then I moved into a house that had mold in Colorado and I felt it more, more acutely because I think the house before didn't have it and then I moved in and I slept in this back room with the master bedroom and it was either in the mattress or in the wall or the plant right next to me, but I could feel the heaviness on my chest like so acutely. This heaviness is actually always here, pretty constant, but it was really heavy. And so I knew there was mold and um, then I moved to the front room and it wasn't as bad, but it was in the house. so. And then I got COVID and got completely knocked out. And it's been, I haven't really been able to fully recover. So I just want to update on low dose naltrexone and mold toxicity. Um, it definitely has helped um, reduce the symptoms of like all the intense negative thought patterns. And just before I started, I had a morning where there were these thoughts of like, why even continue? You know, those really dark thoughts. Um, what's the point? Um, yeah. And I haven't had that level of dark thoughts since I started the low dose naltrexin. So it's really helped with the endorphin levels. Um, now, that being said, um, you know, being who I am and being a Plutonian mystic is what I would call it on, on, in here in this form to transmute karma, there still is a lot of moving of grief coming through with all the lung inflammation. And um, so there are, there are still emotions that come but it's not the darkness that was there. And then I would say with brain function, it's definitely helped me be able to, like for example, right now I'm planning this um, mold avoidance um, tent camping in the desert and I'm having to 
make a lot of decisions and figure out a lot of things. And I really think the low dose naltrexone is helping me with brain function. And um, yeah, that and some caffeine. <laughs> okay, so I had to start out very low 0.25 and now it's been five months and I slowly w worked my way up and now I'm at 4.5 and I skip one day a week but when I so when I got COVID I bumped it up from I was taking like 2.5 and I went up to three and then really quickly I went up to 4.5 because I know it helps the immune system so in that, it didn't have any negative side effects as, as far as I could tell because I was already really tired. Um, yeah, so now I'm at 4.5. So as far as healing from mold toxicity, I have a plan that's coming after this last round of purging. If you watch my channel or me, you know that I'm very much, um, I've been very much about the spiritual and emotional components of healing. So I've done a lot, a lot of emotional work and a lot of innocence work. And seeing that I see the perfection of the disease, the illness here in this lifetime to allow and assist me to really like clear all the dense energies. It's just, I'm a vehicle of transmutation. I'm an alchemist. And this illness has helped me alchemize all the patterns that have kept me away from realizing my true nature. And not only that, all of the dense energies that have kept me away from my heart, from feeling the love and the beauty and the joy and the light of the, my true self. It's helped me in this intense longing and devotion to truth, to discover who I really am, which is not the illness, which is not this sick body or sick, you know, whatever, what, it's not this mind either. It's not this personality. Um, so I feel really grateful and blessed and I'm just so in a good place emotionally and spiritually. And this last round of purging, I, if you see my last two videos, I was moving a lot of grief um, every few days and still, even yesterday, still just moving grief around having to go. I was in the Walmart and I'm doing this mold avoidance thing. So I'm trying not to cross contaminate my clothes. And so <laughs> I was buying new clothes and putting them in a bag right away, just like sealing them up so I wouldn't contaminate them. But it brought up a lot of sadness around the fact that we're at this place in our human journey together where it's so freaking toxic on this planet. And it brings a lot of sadness that we have come to this place. And also a devotion to know that I am one of the beings here to help shift this paradigm to a healthier connection to, first of all, we have to start with ourselves. We have to start with connecting to our inner world and our, it's an inward journey. We have to find the love and connection with ourselves, and that includes connecting with our bodies. And this is such a long, slow process for myself to really tune in to my body and what it needs. And yeah, and it's very much in process. So, yeah, so people with mold toxicity, you know, we're here as canaries in the coal mine. Um, with the red flags that there's definitely a lot of cleanup work we need to do. And I'm a part of that change. And so as on my journey of healing, it's been 12 years. Now I'm at this place where after this last round of grieving and clearing away identification, Something new came in, a new tool, um, and the awareness that I need to really take this seriously in terms of getting clear of all the mold in my environment, and um, not in a fear 
not in a base like fear-based way all the fear can creep in really quickly right because like it's everywhere <laughs> but you know cleaning and taking the time I'm gonna I'm borrowing money from my mom so I can buy some things to go camping and um, I feel the correctness of it I feel I'm being divinely guided in this way and also I realize it's it's necessary. If I'm going to heal from this mold, I cannot keep re-exposing myself. So I can't, unfortunately, keep house and pet sitting because I never know what whether the house is going to have mold or not. And yeah, so I'm in this deep process of like clearing all my stuff. And that's important too. Like I'm going to clean my car because I think I've just been carrying around the mold on all my stuff too. And um, yeah, it's a big adventure. I mean, like I'm, like, I'm kind of excited to really just simplify more, even more. Like I've already simplified down just to the things that are in my Prius and one box at my mom's house. And now I'm going to simplify even more. And um, I'm going to take one week, maybe two, cut out all technology because your technology can be contaminated too, and just be in a tent. I'm going to get a heated blanket. I'm buying some new stuff. I'm going to have like one, new, one, two new outfits. Like, so I'm not, so I'm just wearing new stuff. And I'm doing something called the Purium Cleanse, and I'm going for it. Now, the reason I'm doing that it just it makes a lot of sense. So I've been doing a bunch of supplements. I've been spending insane amount of money on supplements every month trying to figure out, you know, as we do, like what's the right one? What's the right combo? There's so many there's so many opinions and advice. I've been doing binders, I've been doing lymph, I've been doing microbe formulas, um all kinds of stuff. So what happened was my friend or an acquaintance from a spiritual group that I've been in, um, she reached out to me and asked if I would join um, a group meeting so she could share her journey with something. I didn't know exactly what it was, but I wanted, I felt inside, I felt this yes to just show up and see what it was and also to support her. And, uh, it was her journey with Purium and her health crash and then her health coming back as a result of doing these products. So I was like, well, maybe I'll try the shake again because I like the shake and I want to get off of the Thrive Shake. So I got the shake and then I told her, you know, my my situation is like way more extreme than most, most people's and I don't think just the Purium products could really help me and so she I told her it was mold toxicity so she sent me this video I'll link it below um, of three or four women who have had mold toxicity and have come around like turn around made major turnarounds from doing this whole purium cleanse and one woman's story is like so extreme and she was very like crawling on her hands and knees and went through this huge process and when she ended up doing the mold avoidance and adding in the purium that's when she had a really huge like her body started getting life force back and she had a huge turnaround so that was hearing my own story and these women was enough to make me say, all right, I'm going to try this product. And I talked to her. We had a meeting. Basically, I'm going to get rid of or put aside. I'm going to leave all my supplements and just go with just these products. They're grown in um, very like regenerative soil. So the soil that they grow the food in is super, super healthy. And then it's all food-based. And so it's all whole food based. And it's always made sense to me that if we give our body what we need, it can heal itself. And so far I haven't found what that is, but it does also make sense to me that if we give our body pure foods and whole foods with enough nutrition of what our body needs, then we could 
heal ourselves. So coming from, it's all coming from the earth, all coming from food and plants. Um, so that's, that's what's, it's showing up tomorrow. I'm going to start the cleanse. I'm going to, this is the other thing after the last round of purging, I got to this place where I am, I'm making better choices. So I know I also don't believe that you're supposed to like willpower your way to make yourself make better choices. It, it doesn't work in the long run. Actually, for me, some people have great willpower and they can just do that. Not this one. I've got Mars skip step in the 12th house in Cancer. That means like complete surrender to thy will in a different way. The the real way or the true lasting shift transformation has been to go into the emotional the emotional realm of allowing these stuck emotions and belief systems to come up and out welcoming them in as the space of love recognizing myself more and more as this beautiful expansive untouched space of love that in the more that that is recognized the more the subconscious mind or the innocence or the inner child feels safe to reveal these really intense deep old emotions from this lifetime and many lifetimes and the more I can just welcome those in allowing all the allowing everything that needs to be felt this naturally shifts the dream the the reflection which is includes the the character and her choices the reflection shifts as we shift our internal our relationship with our inner world and as we go inward into the true self the true self that is just watching with neutrality and love and just is watching the dream the more we can go in and identify with that more than the character in the story the more it frees up the character and frees up these emotions to be able to be moved by divinity and there's a purification process of like okay now the character's choosing better things for her for her body like I'm drinking tea right now and instead of caffeine and uh, it's naturally happening so then I feel strong enough now like like I can do a cleanse like the Purium ultimate lifestyle transformation cleanse which doesn't include a lot of food it's a look like a little bit of food if you want to go heavy on it. It's very clean eating. And um, yeah, I feel strong enough to be able to stick with something like that now. So that's my plan. I've got this. I'm in Colorado. I've got five more days here. I'm going to be cleaning stuff. Luckily, they're letting me use their washer, washing machine and dryer. And I'm actually soaking stuff in ammonia and then using borax and then using OxyClean. Um, it's intense. It's a lot of washing and I'm going to like get rid of some stuff I can't clean like my jackets. But there's like this crossover time period because I think my car has mold in it and I have to drive out west to another 10 day house sit. I'll be on the coast by the ocean. And then I'm going to get an ozone machine and clean out my car and um, continue like getting rid of stuff and cleaning stuff. And then I'm going to, once I get it really sanitized, I'm going to bag it up, triple bag it and make sure it doesn't get re-exposed. <laughs> um, I'm buying some, like a new, I have to buy a new sleeping bag and a new down jacket and I'm getting a little solar power station so I can have some electricity out there. Yeah, and then I'm gonna go camp in Quartzsite where there's like millions of people. It's this huge open desert BLM land and it's dry, which is what we need. And it's warm for winter, although it is still getting down to like 35. 
37 at night, which is really cold to be sleeping in a, in a tent. So I'm going to get a heated blanket, a low wattage heated blanket, which um, I can plug into my little power station or my car. Yeah, so for $180, um, you can stay for, I think it's from December to April, or it's like five months. You can stay on this open land, and there's plenty of space for people to spread out. And then you get free water, free trash, and there are porta potties. Although I won't be using them because I think I got COVID from using a public bathroom. So. My friend is staying out there too. There's probably a lot of cool people and kindred spirits. The feeling is I'll be really going inward into the silence a lot and taking beautiful hikes and just taking things really slow and simple and um, being really close to nature. It's going to be challenging. It's going to be an adventure. and. But I really, and who knows whether it's going to get me better. I've, been, I've done so many things in my journey that um, where I get really excited thinking like, this is it. And it works for about three months. And then it stops working as much, which same happened with the low-dose naltrexin. But part of that is like I keep getting re-exposed and that's why things stop working so well because I'm still being exposed to the mold. Anyway, so yeah, I mean, like this plan is like the Purium, it sounds amazing and awesome. And I'm going to give it three months and I'm going to give it three and a half months before it really like if I started talking about it more or joining in the business, um, I really need to give it like four months because if it's still working at four months and I'm still getting better, then I know it, there's um, something to the approach that I'm using of mold avoidance with pure Purium. So, the other thing is once you get clear of the mold for one or two weeks, then you start to be able, a lot of people start to be able to detect whether or not there's toxicity in the environment that's triggering their body. So it brings more sensitivity. So I would love to be able to go back to house and pet sitting at some point. I would really love that. But I don't know if I'll be able to. So God, the universe, the beloved, myself is leading me on this path to be able to live very simply, live closer to the earth, to live and to keep nourishing the being, that which needs nothing outside of myself, to keep resting in the silence where everything arises from, to keep clearing and purifying so I can be a vessel of light. So I can be a powerful agent of change and hold space for the collective, hold space for others to help inspire and um, love and to bring love, the vibration of love, of unconditional love to myself and to others. That's what I want. It's what I've been praying for for many, many years to be a vehicle of love and light here. And um, yeah. So I'm hoping to bring my rebounder out there so I can jump on the trampoline and move my lymph. Um, I am doing this salt pipe with iodine, iodine drops. Let's see. Lugol's iodine. It's supposed to help kill all the viruses in your lungs and it's powerful. I'm doing that. Seems to help. What else? Yeah. Walk, I mean, I'll walk barefoot. That's going to be good. 
breathing and dancing and hopefully sweating. That's been something that's been challenging. I do take walks with the dogs, but getting a sweat is not my strong suit. So hopefully the rebounder, I'll be doing that more. So lots of love to you. Just wanted to give you this update. Um, and anyone with mold toxicity, or if you have any mysterious illness that you can't seem to figure out, um, it could be mold toxicity. And I guess there's ways to tell where you don't have to spend so much money on a, on a urine test. Um, the woman that I met with, Michelle, she said, uh, you don't have, like, urine tests aren't as accurate. I don't know, but if you have a mysterious illness, you can't figure out what it is. It could be mold toxicity. It's getting quite common. All right. Hmm. Thanks for watching, and um, I'll probably give an update. I would like to update out there when I'm camping. It's going to be... It's going to be a wild journey. All right, lots of love.